Now, one of the major tools, now this is where my company comes in, so everything you're about to hear is gonna be from the bias of, I created, created this supplement, I produce every bottle of this supplement in my labs here in Virginia, we've become the worldwide distributor for this supplement, this is my industry, this is what, how I make a living, this is how my kids are going to college. And so, all of that said, what happened in 2012 is I was studying uh, nutrition science because I had left academia, I'd left my chemotherapy exploration world, and I was, start, I was running a, a world of uh, nutrition for chronic disease management. And in that journey, we were starting to realize that there was 30 or 40% of our patient population that wasn't getting better on health food. So they were fermenting for me, they were super hydrating, they're doing all kinds of things right, and they were getting worse, not better. And so I was so confused. And then I'd, they'd go back on a, a simple carbohydrate diet, like the worst thing in the world for me from a physician or a scientist standpoint, and they would actually get less inflamed. And so we had to go on a journey of asking, why is health food beginning so challenging to the human body? How come kale can be inflammatory to the human body? How come Brussels sprouts can be inflammatory? Well, these things are supposed to be anti-cancer, there's an anti-inflammatory, blah, blah, blah. The journey took us down everything I just told you into re realizing that there was a leaky gut, that, the, that a Roundup was, there was you know, the main culprit in that and everything else. In that journey, though, we started studying so soil science. And in 2012, I was going through a 90-page wh white paper on ancient soil, 50-million-year-old soil. And in that document, found this molecule that looked a heck of a lot like the chemotherapy I'd been designing. And in that moment, it was one of those goosebump seconds where you're like, whole world is, whoop. we've been looking as scientists and pharmacists to plants to be our source of medicinals for thousands of years. Very few have ever looked to the soils for the source. And so it was this moment of like, oh my gosh, is all the untapped secret that we're looking for actually down here in the soil? Is that what we're missing? And so that's been a really exciting journey now over the last seven years. And so the supplement that I make is, is Restore. This is a dietary supplement that's entirely derived from ancient soils. And so we go through a raw material extraction from fossil soils about 50 million years old, and then we bring it out to Virginia and we go through a whole catalyst procedure uh, through other mineral salts to get the oxygen hydrogen binding right so that we get this revigoration of the of the biochemistry of ancient soil and that microbiome that produced these metabolites and so what we found you know as you reverse engineer this whole story we found in 2012 that the bacteria the fungi the parasites etc when they digest food around them to produce nutrients for your body they also make these small metabolites these carbon-based molecules that are capable of cell-cell communication, supporting these massive highways of communication through your body. And that's not just neural pathways, it's actually even tinier, it's down at the cell-cell level. We talked about the tight junctions. Turns out that these carbon molecules have an incredibly, incredible capacity to speed up the production, the repair rate of the tight junctions to the point where you can expose that membrane to something like glyphosate and see incredible resilience where you're repairing at such a fast rate that you never get the leak to actually happen. And so that excitement has led us down this pathway of realizing that in this journey of understanding the rate of repair and the rate of injury in a human body, we've done all of that analysis in sterile Petri dishes. Everything we know about cancer was done in a sterile Petri dish. Everything we know about cardiovascular disease, major depression, sterile, sterile, sterile. This is the first time now in those last five years where our lab is getting to experience what does human biology look like in the context of an ecosystem that's talking. Each species of bacteria and fungi make a unique little carbon snowflake, each one looking a little different than the next. Interestingly, when you get the electrical capacity, the capacitance electrically is through hydrogen bonding. Once you get that electrical capacity back in these communication molecules, you get a, a communication network. This is just like a liquid circuit board. And so you can imagine these highways of communication on a circuit board carrying electrical impulses. This is an extra neural or extra brain environment in your gut lining as you coat your gut where you get cell-cell communication happening across broad spectrums through this pulsing electrical capacity. What they do is they send signal down to the nucleus of the human cell to start making more protein. We need more protein out here. We need more tight junctions. We need this over here. We need this over there. The supplement doesn't say anything. It just is the wireless communication network. And so it's so cool to reconnect the body to itself to find out that it's calling for repair all over the place and let the body go into that repair process. 
And so that's a, an amazing you know, journey that we've been on the last five years. To watch the full episode or to subscribe to the podcast, click the link in the description or visit us at neurohacker.com slash collective insights.